Kakadosh Boker Or, Mesechet Bab Metziah Daf Ayin Vav Amud Aleph, 76A1. We're going to start with the new Perek, Perek Shishi, the sixth chapter, on 75B on the bottom, the last three lines. And it says over here like this, Asokher et if you're going to come and you're going to have a Shid Yom or a Kablan, so basically you're getting a worker, Vitu Zedze, which means one side tricked the other side. There's a lot of people that they do trickeries, right? They do tricksters or they do tricks. So therefore, one side tricks the other side. They only have tar omit. What does it mean, tar omit? You only have excuses. What do you mean, excuses? Even there's no mamon over here. Okay? Next. Right? He comes and he says, right, like this. If a person is going to come and he's going to take a noheg chamor, or the balkaron, kablanut, and he's going to come and bring wood, right? And they don't have for to making the apidion. So he comes and he says, I guess, apidion is uh, because of the kavod, it's like a chupa. The chalilim, or chalilim, la kala o la met, whether it's going to be for the kalar for the met. So they used to come, they used to use flutes, and they used to come and do all these things. Upoalim, and workers, la lo pishtanomina mishra, in order to bring up the pishtan from the mishra, ve chol davar sha'aved, or a schar poel, that he's coming and, right, he's putting, all doing all the melacha. He's not going to be, right? He's not going to be, I've said. So what happens is, is that we're talking about right now, the poalim that they were bringing up the flax or anything which is going to be the vara aved. The chazruben, and they retracted. So makom shen sham adam, so there's nobody else basically to get. Right, so Chebal and Lehen, he's allowed to get other people with a higher price, Al Cheshbon, the first person, or Matan, or he's allowed to actually come and make them make a mistake in order to actually come and obligate them to do it. You understand what happened? Right, one more time. So, everyone understood what happened. What happened was as follows Imagine right now I get somebody, right, to work for me, and all of a sudden in the middle, they quit the job. I'm looking and I can't find anybody. So what I'm allowed to do is I could actually get somebody else to finish off the job. And even if it's going to be more expensive, it's al cheshbon ben adam ahu. Meaning I still owe him money. But now I'm going to tell him, listen, I have to pay you $100 for the job. Right? You did half the job. So technically, you can get $50. But what happened was I had to take somebody else to finish off the job that was more expensive. So I had to pay him $70. So I don't have to pay him 50. I only have to pay him 30. Ah, but he did half the job. It doesn't matter. Because he quit the job in the middle, I'm allowed to get the guy that's more expensive because I couldn't find anybody else. I could get the more expensive guy, al Khajbuno. And I only have to give him 30. Kabish, understood or not? Or he says Mat'an, which means you could actually make it like make him make, make a mistake in order that he should be able to come and uh to finish off the job, right? That he actually started. If you come and you get Umanin to come and to do work for you, for Kablanut. Remember, Kablanut is you give them for a job. So you're going to do my garage, you're going to do a pool, you're going to do whatever it is. This is the price. It's called Kablanut. The Chazrubahen. So after they did Chelek Me'avodah, they came and they changed, right? They, they retracted. So therefore, he comes and he says, Yadam Ala The Umanin, they have the lower hands. Because since I had to go and get other people to finish off the job, they are the lower hands. Meaning the Balabai will come and pay them whatever it is accordingly. On the top. But if the Balabait is Khozerbo, so Yadola Takhtuna. So then the Yad Balabait is going to be on the bottom. Okay? Some people they like changing things. Anybody that changes, Yadola Takhtuna. They have to know that. Right? They think that they could change things and then Kilo. No. Whether you change or you retracted, Yadola Takhtuna. Gimara on Ain Vava Mudalif says the Gimara. Hazru ze baze. Right? What does that mean? It's mashma that we're talking about the Balabait of the Poel was Khazarbu. Look, Tani, we didn't teach this. Ela hi tu It doesn't say Khazru Zedze. The first part of the Mishnah in the Perek did not say Khazru Baze Baze. It says he tu zedze. They, they, they tricked one another. Right? The atu poalim adadi, which means the poalim one tricked the other one. What's the case exactly? The Balabai came and he told him, 
זיל אגלי, right, go get, yeah, go get פועלים. ואז על אי הוא, ואת אין הוא. And the פועל קיים, and he will שכר פועלים על other פועלים. And he made a mistake. So איך ידעה מי? What exactly is the case? If you're going to tell me now the Balabait that it's going to be with four. So, and then he went and he said three. What, what taromet is there exactly? Imagine I come and I tell you, David, you know what? Give me some workers. You go and I tell you, how much are you going to pay? I'm going to pay $15 an hour. You go to the workers, you're going to say, tell them um, well, he's paying you $14 an hour. And you put in your pocket extra dollars. Listen, you accepted it. You come to the worker. The worker accepted it. What's the problem then? So, if the Balabait said three, and now he went and he said four, so I told you I'm going to pay them $12 an hour. And you came, you told them 15. So then, what's the case? If he told them that I'm the one that's paying, so then you have to give the difference. Meaning, if everyone understood that David is the one that's paying, so David has to pay the difference than what I'm paying, what he wanted to pay. So therefore, the extra $3 an hour, he has to pay. Right? Imagine right now, you're going to get a, a worker to work in your field. But at the time of the Avodah, you showed him your friend's field. And he went and he worked in the friend's field. He has to, he has to pay him the full price. Now he gets for the... You know, like this. I come and I say, listen, you're going to work in my field. But on the way, right, I showed him Eitan's field. Then the guy comes and he works in Eitan's field. So technically speaking, I have to pay him 100%. But then I go to Eitan, I'm going to tell him, listen, by the way, the guy worked in your field and he helped you out. He, now you don't have to cut the lawn. You, so instead of you paying for the lawn guy, I just did it. But, so then he has to pay me now that which he benefited. Not what I paid the, not what I paid the worker. Because it could be that I paid the worker more. But that which he benefited, he has to pay me. Okay, not more than that. Right? That means it's not like a schar shalem, but rather now that which he made him gain. So says the Gemara, what are we dealing with? Imagine right now, right, David went and he told the, the workers, okay, but the schad is going to be on, right, balabait. Okay? Fine. So says the Gemara, he says, one second, but we have to see the derechlal, right, other, how, how are usually people paid? Like, what's going on exactly? If they came and they worked stam without any itchayvut, so then he doesn't have to pay them. Meaning like, what well, do you have to actually even pay? So if you're going to start paying these zepoalim according to that thing, four zoos, so it's going to be four zoos. If it's good, meaning, check the min hagamakom. There is a min hagamakom, right? We know how much people are paid. Here, for example, minimum wage is less than in California, or it's going to be less than in New York, right? The minimum wage is different in different places in the world. So therefore, min hagamakom. So answers the Gemara, let's see no, it's going, there are different rates. Right? The Amru Labors, he could say, he loved the Amarta Lamberba. If you would have told us not, if you wouldn't have told us about the Barba, we would have come and we've actually gotten our Bazus for the day. Meaning, right, if you wouldn't have told us four, so we would have actually come and we would have asked for four. We would have rented ourselves out for four. So therefore, that's going to be the first answer that really be met. There are some people that do four and some people do three, right? And therefore, since the Balabait is only going to be obligated for three, they have a taromet. They could have said, listen, I would have actually gone for four. I would have looked for a guy that's going to pay me four. Why am I going to look for a guy that's going to pay me three? Or if you want, you could answer another answer. We're they told him, he loved if he wouldn't have told us four, it would have been for like a zilzul. To come and to do it in like you know for less than the you know to start renting ourselves out for that it's like uh you know like sometimes like what you this is what you're gonna pay me it's like uh you buy tamer if you want you can answer also we're talking about pauline the amri lay that they said kevin the matal ambarba since you already said four tarkhina vavdin lach avita shapirata he says we did for you like a very good avoda and therefore he comes and he says right if we would have known that we're only gonna get the regular price we would have meaning I thought that you were paying me more, so I give you a better service. But if you're going to pay me like everybody else, I wouldn't have given you such a high service. I wouldn't have done such a thing. So says the Gemara, so check the work. You know there's Avodah Sug Aleph, Avodah Sug Bet. You understand? Check the work. Right? What is the work? Is the work uh, 
כמו, you know, the Gemara answers, Berifka. We're talking about Poalim, that they came and they, they dug around the Sadeh, and therefore you can't see it. Meaning you can't see the value of the work. We're not talking about something that you could check across and say, oh, look how nice, look how this. No, 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 no. You, you can't check it. So says the Gemara, Rivka Nami Neide Yada. What are you talking about? Of course you could see it. Right? Even if you could check what the size, is it equal all the time? Meaning they came and they made a furrow. Or it's like they dug, like, you know, all around. So what, you can't check? You could check. Is it equal on the things? You know, is it good quality? You could also check. So answers, no. They made this like as an irrigation canal and then they filled it with water. Once you fill it with water, you can't see if it was a good job or not. In a sense, you have dirt, right? So usually before checking the dirt, you want to make sure that it's leveled, that it looks nice. But if the second you fill it up with water, you can't see if over here it's a little bump, over there it's a little bit more dug, or you can't see it anymore. It's already done. You understand? So therefore, that's it. If you want, you can answer. Really, the Balabai said four. And then the guy that went to get the workers went and he said three. Now, ah, you said, oh, well, the, the worker accepted it. What do you want from him? says, the Amri lay, but they told him, let lach, al timnal tov mi be'alav. Because basically, they could tell the guy, listen, you should never stop a guy from getting good. Meaning, if the balabai was going to pay us that money, who are you to stop that good from their owners? If I'm the one that's doing the worker, so you have to do it. And by the way, this is many times a ta'ana. Again, it's a taromet only because you can't do anything. But this is many times a ta'ana when you think that somebody's doing something without a commission and they are getting a commission. You don't know how many times it happens that a guy comes and Kilu, he's doing you a favor. And you really believe him, right? And really, Bemet, the guy's getting a kickback. So automatically, by the guy getting some type of a commission, automatically you're paying more expensive, right? Well, one second, one second. But it doesn't matter, though. But, but then you have to tell him out front, I'm getting a commission. He has to know whether you're getting a commission. Because if not, what happens is, is that you don't realize it. So this actually this actually happened in, I remember this was a question that happened in the Chosh Mishpat Kolel here in Miami that somebody went and he bought a Sefer Torah. He paid $40,000 for the Sefer Torah. And when he got the Sefer Torah, it, was, it wasn't, it uh, was okay, you, you, it's very difficult to say this, you know, like, but it's not good quality, meaning it was, uh, you're looking, right? So he went and he got a check by a Sofer. The Sofer went and he said, this is a $25,000 Sefer Torah. He went back to the guy and it was true. It was a 25, that he went to the Sofer directly. And the Sofer said, but you only paid me 25000 What do you want from me? So the middleman took $15,000. Yeah, now that's not mekubal. Usually if a guy is going to get a Sefer Torah, hey, so maybe you can make a 1000 2000 Iowa, 15000 That's almost uh, the reward of the Sofer. Think about it. The Sofer made 25000 and he did all the work for almost an entire year. And this guy just came and he did the... Kilu the shiduk and he gets fifty thousand. That's not the. And I remember it was a big balagam because the question was now that's a whole question. Did he know it was a middleman? Did he know it was a middleman? How much percentage is he taking? Because all these things are going to have enough reflect on the on the price, obviously. So pshita, he says it's obvious. the balabait would have said three, and then he would have said four. The amri and then he said kamosh amal balabait, just like the balabait says that two yilave. So then they want four. Imagine right now, right, we are going to go get our dear friend here, David. He comes and he tells the, the guys, ah, uh, what's it called? The Balabite, I, even I told him I'm going to pay them $15 an hour. He comes and he tells them 12 He said, oh, whatever the Balabite tells me. They just gained. Why did they just gain? Because by saying that, the, the, just like the Balabite, that's it. They just gained it. So he says, The Balabite would have said, with four. And then he went and he said, it said it was going to be three. The Amri, and then they said, just like the Balabite said, what's Salacha now? Adibura dideka samche, where they somech on David, right? The Amri, right? Mehemta lehach ya Balabite, that's what Balabite said. Or Dima, or maybe Behemet, they're going to be somech on the Balabite. And here the Balabite said, right, the four, and he went and he said the three. So that means, who are we going like? What they actually said, or what or what the what the inter, how do you call them? The middleman. The middleman came and he said. So Tashima, we're going to come and bring a proof. 
a woman comes and she tells the person, bring me my get. Right? Now what happens is, that means this is called a shliach hava, which means a shliach to come and to bring the get. Okay, what happens? He comes and he tells the husband, Ishtechamra, right? Your wife said, it kabeligiti, accept the get from me. Right? So it's a, it's a, that means he changed the words. Vehu omet, so now the husband says, Helach kemashamra, take it the way the woman I have told you. Now one more time. Ah, exactly. What's the difference between receive and bring? What's the difference? You have to know this. That's why it's so important. Not only that. Receive is at the second. Ah. When you say it, the second you receive it, she's divorced. When you say bring me my get, you're a postman. You're a shaliach. He gets the get. It's not, it's not her, it's not her get. She's not divorced until it gets to her hand. Because she just said it, bring me my get. If you see, bring me my get, what? The husband tells the Sharia, we see the get that she said. Ah, uh, what, 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 So one more time. The wife comes and says, bring me my get. Bring me my get means that she's only going to be divorced when the get gets in her hand. The guy goes, the Sharia comes and he tells the husband, your wife told me to receive the get. Which means that the second that you give me the get, Kaddish. That's it. She's divorced. The husband comes and he says, take the get like my wife said. Helach kemashi amra. Even if the get gets to her hand, she's not Megureshet. Why is she not going to be Megureshet? Because at the end of the day, the husband didn't make it into Shliach Hava, right? And therefore, there's no Shliach here. So even when the even when the get gets to his hand, to her hand, the again, Klum, Shungalak. Right? Because he went and he changed it. You understood? So Shema Mina, so we see from here, a dibura dideka samich. That the guy is going to be somech on his dibur. Yeah, the guy is going to be somech on his dibur. What does it mean on his dibur? The guy is going to come and be somech, right? On the way that the, that the shliach is telling. So the same thing. The east side of the going to tell me that it's a dibura dida. So so one second, the second that the gets, gets to her hand, she should be divorced. Michimit mati gita liada miyati garesh. So Amar Ravashi, Ravashi said, no, you can't bring that proof. Why? I'm Vava Mubet, right? 76B. Hachiyashta, can you compare both cases? Bishlemai itmar ibcha. I understand if it was said the opposite. Hitka beligiti, except for me the get. Vishlecham rave legiti, and the wife says, and meaning he comes and he says, your wife told me to bring the get. Vehu omen, and he says, elak mashamra, bring it the way that it was said. Amar Ravnach, Amar Ravnach, Amar Ravnach, the second that the get gets to his hand, he's going to be given to Geshet. We are going to be Somech on her Dibur. Right? One more time. She went and she said, Accept for me the get. He went and he said, is actually going to be a more tedious job. You know why it's a more tedious job? When you come and you say, the second that you receive it, that's it. If it gets lost or, dro- or stolen or if it gets burnt or anything, what happens? She's already divorced. If you say, bring me, yes. If you say, bring me the get, what happens? He has to, he has to be careful with it until she gets to her hand. The job doesn't finish until more. Meaning it's a, it's, a, it's a more tedious work. It's a more of a job. So therefore he's coming and saying, and he says, if she went and she said, it and then he added on that your wife told me since he added on the job and he's doing a worse job, meaning like he has to work more. So therefore it means that he really wanted to work more. In such a case, we're going to be somecha dibura dida. And she's going to be divorced the second that she gets the get, that he gets the hand in his hand, the get in his hand. Because the husband said, like what, 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 what my wife said. But he says, inami or or, you could say, we're going to be somech on her words. But over there, because it's Kiru is saying, I was Muhan to be a Shia Kabala, not a Shia Kholacha. And therefore, it comes out that he's trying to say that since he's uprooting the Shlichut, because he doesn't want to be a proper Shaliach, but she wanted him to be a Shia Chova. And he said, No, 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 I only want to finish the job early. I, you just give me the get and that's it. So therefore, since he's uprooting from the Shlichut, that's why it doesn't count. Okay? 
you want you could answer also another thing. Haitana Khazru Nami Hitu Karime. So basically, these were all different answers about who's making the mistake, right? So because we said who's making the mistake exactly. So we said the mistake was done between whether it's going to be a middleman and the and the workers, right? Not about a bite and the workers. But he says, no, really Bemet Khazru is Hitu. It's called the same thing, meaning if I'm going to make you make into a mistake, I'm going to trick you, as it's saying, retracting on a on a in the middle of a job that is tricking you, right? By the way, it's the worst thing in the world because many times people come, they start a job, and you don't know what they did and what they were trying to do. So now, when you get the next guy to come to try to finish off the job, it's very difficult because many times it's just easier to start from the beginning and you know what you're doing from the beginning to the end than to start something in the middle and you're not really sure which way they were doing it, what are they doing, how. You know, how do they start? And so it's very, very difficult. Okay? The Tanya's will learn to the Brayta, Socheret Omanin. The two at the Balabait, O Balabait, it's out on. And I'm Zelat Roma. They only have Tar Omen. So he comes out, but there was no FSEP, right? Obviously, because if they actually retracted, obviously, so therefore they only have Tar Omen. What is the Tar Omen? You could have a complaint, but you can't have more than that. But Medvari Muni, one of these words, Shelo Al Hu, right? When they did not. Go to the Makoma Buddha, Val, Halfu, Hamarim, Lomatsu Tua. If they went and they didn't find Tua, Polim Matsu Sadek Kishilaha, or they went to the workers when they found a Sadeh which is going to be Laha, Motel Nahem, Seharam, Mishalem, you're going to pay them the full amount. Aval Eno Dome, Habataun Lerekan. It's never going to be compared to Hamad that he's coming when he's got a whole bunch of wheat or somebody that's coming empty handed. Right? Al Sem Lachal Yoshev Batel, or somebody that's doing uh, work where he's Batel, which means. The Sharim, the Sharim, they don't get their full wage. They only get like a Shar Batel because it's never the same thing. When you're coming and you're traveling with your car full, you have to pay more gas. Why? Because it's a heavier load, right? If you're coming and you're working, yeah, I could have been working now. Yeah, but in essence, you're not working. <coughs> so you can't compare both cases. The donkey drivers, they used to be like um, the middlemen. They used to take the wheat to another place and sell it. <clears throat> yeah. Remember, Hamor is a donkey. Hamar is the donkey driver. So he's called the donkey driver. It's called Hamar. Same thing, Gamal, right? Same thing. Huh? Bamed Varimunim, one of these words, Shadayn Ritkilu Bimelacha, they didn't start the job. Avalitkilu Bimelacha, but the second that they started the job, Shamila Masha Asu, we're going to evaluate how much they did. Kate said, what's the case? They went and said, okay, you have to come and you have to reap this amount of the field for two slain. They only did half the job. They're going to do a clothing for two slain. Right? They only did half. Right? They're going to evaluate how much they did. If it was worth six dinanim, you have to give them a sela, which is four dinarim, which is half of the avodah, which means even though he's going to lose out through that, Right, because the sum of the entire avodah is going to be now uh, ten dinarim instead of eight, or yigmeru melachtan vitru shnesling, or the polim are going to finish and then they're going to take the eight dinarim. Right, he says the im sela notela im sela. But if it's going to be that the chelak of the was only going to be worth a sela at the beginning, so they give them a sela, meaning you give them according to that amount. Rabbi Dosa Omer, Rabbi Dosa says no. Shamin laem mashatil leasot. You you follow the entire avodah. You're only giving them two dinarims, right? Which means, according to the shita, you're only going to give them what is going to be finished product. Meaning, why in the world are you going to lose? Because they want to stop the job in the middle. So you're going to find out how much does the job finish off, right? And the truth is, many times they do that nowadays as well. Meaning, you, you're a contractor. You started the job, right? So, okay, you did 50% of the work. But now, if I take another contractor, I'm going to have to spend almost double. So I'm not going to give you 50% of the, of the salary anymore. I'm actually going to come and I'm going to give you according to what's finished off. But meant what you mean, one of these words, but the no avud, which is something which is not going to be avud. But the avud, if something is going to be avud, socher alehen, meaning there's something that's going to, you know, uh, get lost. Socher alehen, o matan, keitza matan, o melahen, sela katsats tilachem, bo utru shtayim, ad kama socher alehen, ad baim, ve chamishin zuz. He could come and basically he tricks them. Because you know, okay, I'll pay you double. They come, they finish the job. Here, here's a single. Meaning that I'm not going to pay them double. He tricked them into finishing off a job. Why? Because they left him in the job. And if they wouldn't have finished it, it would have gone, it would have lost. It would have uh, it gone bad. So therefore, he's allowed to do that. Okay? 
But med when you one of these words, is man and shampoo is scored if there's nobody else to get. But yes, shampoo is scored. But if you could get other workers, but man, he says it's it's called meelu and an entorba. So okay, you could you have a complaint, but you could get you could get somebody else. Tani tana kamed rav. They learned in front of Rav. Not tell him scharam yishalem to pay them the full amount. Amar he says Habibi, yeah, my uncle, yeah. Amar iluana avai. If I was uh, the balabait, love you even then. I wouldn't give them el lepol batel like a pol batel. The atamar now you're going to tell me now. Not tell him scharam yishalem. You're going to give it shalem. Ve'alak tani. But he said eno dome aba taun abarekan. Right, I was saying lachal yoshev batel. It's not comparable. Nothing at all. Whether it's the taun abarekan or something like you're doing a batel. They didn't finish it in front of them. Some people say that they did finish in front of them. But this is what he meant to say. If I was there, if I was the Balabait, I wouldn't give him nothing. You're going to tell me he gets a pole batel? So he says, but it's a question then. I don't understand what, you're not going to give him anything? So he says, When Rabbi Chia came and he said that the Balabait checked the field and the polim in the field, it was the, the previous night. So once the Fualim saw the fields themselves, they had to see if it's actually going to be moist or not, right? Or, for example, if it's going to rain, it's going to change everything. And therefore, the Balabait is not a Chari anymore and anything that's going to happen. But the other one, he didn't see it. Meaning it's always very, very important to show them the job beforehand. Because if the people don't see the job beforehand, there's nothing what to do. There's nothing what to do. So always show them the job. Because if not, they're going to say, no, but I thought you meant this. You explained it to me wrong. I didn't see it. No, 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 no. You want a price? Bring them. See it with your own eyes. That's the way it's supposed to be. Okay. Kiyad Amar Rava, just like Rava says, Amanda Agar, Igre Lirifka, if you're going to get somebody to come and start dig digging, you know, like a ditch in your property, Vata Mitra, and all of a sudden water comes and it fills it up with water. If you brought him the night before, say that the Paulim, the Paulim lose out. Right, low sira. But if they didn't go the night before, I say that the balabai. It's the loss of the balabai. They have lehu kepol batel, and then they're going to give him like a poel batel.